Hello students, I am Dr. Tanwar Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry and History of Molecules. I hope you all are fine. So today we will going to discuss may uh, are multiple choice question. I suggest you please try to figure out what is the name reaction. What task number one? Try to figure out what is the name reaction and write it in the comment box. And second, what is the major product of this reaction? Because see, this is actually. Uh, ketone it's the natural product and if it is treated with, uh, treated with this peroxy monosulfuric acid what is the product four options are provided in front of you now you have to find out what is the ag major product with logical not just tick mark and do not do don't do that so as usual i request you please try to find out the major product by yourself uh, so if you can then no problem if you can't then i'll definitely explain and at the end I'll explain if certain kind of question appears in your exam, how can you solve within 30 seconds? It's an easy question. Within 30 seconds, how can you solve that question? Okay, so let's go to the discussion. By the way, let me give you the final answer of this problem first. The answer is this one. Okay. So now question is how this one and as I have asked one question, what is the name of this reaction? The name of this reaction is Bayer Villager oxidation. Bayer Villager oxidation. I have uploaded two or three lectures on this react topic. Please visit if you feel you have any deficiency on understanding. And I am not going to explain the mechanism completely in details. So those thing is explained there. And most importantly, selectivity as well as microbial aptitude. That's I have made a dedicated lecture. Please watch that thing because that's not generally discussed well. So fine. So this is and such kind of question could be useful for this exam I have mentioned like IIT JAM, NET, CSR, NET, GET, BSMS, BSC or MSC or BHU such kind of better to say bachelor as well as master degree equivalent exams okay. So now let's discuss about this so before going to details as I always suggest that please look at the reactant as well as region carefully in case of reactant we can understand that there is a important functional group ketone and there is an acid provided. Okay. So, so two type of reaction two types of reaction possible. One is carbonyl group general strategy that is aldol condensation, and another it's an as I told oxidation. So definitely it's oxidation will happen as I have written here. Okay. So before going to it, let's look at the reagent. This reagent has some interesting point. As I told, it's a bare villager oxidation, you know, that is actually a ketone to ester or lactone formation. Cyclic ketone to cyclic ester, which is named as lactone. So please keep it in mind this name cyclic esters equivalent to lactone. Okay, fine. Now let me <coughs> discuss about its name is peroxy or peroxy monosulfuric acid. Okay, so why peroxy and why monosulfuric acid? From the name monosulfuric acid, you may think that you may understand it's a mono base. And why peroxy? Because it's a peroxy linkage attached. Now calculate H2SO5, H2SO, and this is 5. And what is the interesting point? Interesting point is this this is peroxy linkage. Okay. Means this is actually responsible for oxidation. This part. Okay. So, because it is minus 1 oxidation state minus and rest all are minus 2 oxidation state. Fine. So, this will undergo oxidation to reduce its means it will take uh, it, it will take electron and ultimately means it will oxidize this one and itself will be reduced. Fine. And reduced to what? Reduced to sulfuric acid. Okay. Generally, we often focus on the side product but I think needed. Now, two things this reagent can do. The two properties this reagent can display. One. Acidity because of this proton acidity. Why? Because the corresponding negative charge means the conjugate base is resonance stabilized with this two. Fine. But if you think acidity of this proton, there is an in-between oxygen. So this charge could not be directly stabilized by this using minus R effect. Minus I you can say, but minus R not possible. And minus I is mainly responsible factor for this delocalization. So this is responsible for acidity and this oxygen is responsible for nucleophilicity. It is as a nucleophile. Why? Because we know the lone pair, lone pair repulsion in peroxide which is known as alpha effect. 
make them better nucleophile. That's why this will attack, not this. Why? Because this lone pair is inside, and second, this is delocalized with the sulfur. Okay, so this is actually this lone pair is nucleophilic. So it will uh, perform the nucleophilic attack on this lactone. So another thing. So we know that ketones. Let's take. Just I am forgetting the. I am just not focusing. This is isopropyl. This is a methyl. Okay. This. Now, I will come to the stereochemistry part. So this is. So as I told, it can act as an acid. Means it will protonate some, and carbonyl group can act as a base. So this will be added, attached to this H plus, and oxygen will have the formal positive charge. And this is better to say activated carbonyl means electrophilic. Electrophile activated. Why? Because if you take the chemical from just this thing, so right now the positive charge come on the oxygen. I am not focusing on other part, just this this part. So this carbon became more electrophilic. Consequently, what happens? That this oxygen. So let me write it here. This oxygen means O H O S O O minus. Okay. So this will attack. it can also eliminate the hydrogen no problem in in equilibrium some of some of them will be deprotonated which can act as a better nucleophile okay so it can act here it will open so what it will result after this attack after the bond formation how does it look like so it will look like this so negative charge will not be there this and this is oh fine this now in next step what can happen now in next step this oxygen this lone pair will be push here and it will not leave instead of alkyl group will migrate okay so one alkyl group will migrate let's consider i'll give you the expression let's consider that this will migrate this bond so it will attack here and it will go so what is the consequence it becomes so2 minus this is the sulfate okay and what the fate of this reagent fate of this reagent is see just it push ring expansion occurred so from six member it will be converted into seven member so first draw a seven member ring this this practice this drawing of ring members okay so this is one let's consider this is two this is three this is four five six this is seven just to draw now put the substitution let's consider that this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so one means it will be protonated carbonyl that is oh okay now uh, protonated second number two carbonyl simple methyl third is methyl Fourth, fifth, sixth, as it is, sixth is isopropyl, and another thing in between six and one, there is a oxygen which is remarked as seven. So this is the product. Okay. So now what will happen? That it will leave the proton means previously when it was a proton, it has a positive charge, formal positive charge. Now after this, it will undergo neutralization. So it will be carbonyl. Yes. Now, so this so two points come. one is migratory aptitude migratory aptitude means who will migrate far who will migrate more efficiently migratory aptitude and second stereochemistry okay so from migratory aptitude if we explain that migratory aptitude of secondary phenyl this is a second sorry secondary alkyl this is a 2 degree alkyl is better than this is a primary alkyl okay no i'm sorry i missed i have missed this is a secondary alkyl this is a tertiary alkyl okay okay since this, this, this is a tertiary carbon is attached to three so secondary carbon is a tertiary so it will migrate more efficiently so point number 1 tertiary having higher tertiary carbon having higher than secondary carbon point number 1 so this is it will migrate not this one second 
is stereochemistry retention in configuration why retention in configuration what do i mean see this is migrating with its lone pair sorry bond pair so migration with bond pair migration with bond pair why see this oxygen is pushing here so this carbon having excess electron so this bond pair will migrate and attack on the sigma star of this oxygen oxygen single bond that's why it since is migrating with the bond pair so retention in configuration okay so this is so ultimately what will be the stereochemistry here no change so it will be remain as it is means up and in this case no change in here so this will be down okay so this is the overall thing now how why tertiary is greater than secondary please for that reason please visit the lectures i will provide the link at the end of this discussion you will get it here so what we have learned today we have learned few interesting points first of all beer release oxidation of a cyclic ketone which resulted in lactal formation second for that purpose we have used sulfuric acid uh, sorry mono peroxy monosulfuric acid which is serving both role as a acid using this proton as a peroxide using this side and ultimately itself getting reduced and oxidized this ketone into an ester point 2 this here the migratory aptitude sorry this is a tertiary carbon see this carbon is to 3 and this is two carbon and this is secondary so here the migratory aptitude of tertiary carbon is higher than secondary so that's why this group migrates second stereochemistry here the retention of configuration happens because the migration occurs with the bond pair so consequently retention occurs so this is the uh, overall product okay so this is the end product so this is the end of this discussion now if such question comes in your exam how to solve this within 30 seconds first of all few points you need to remember and that's why it is essential to to learn the name reaction very efficiently they are the backbone if your backbone is strong you can take more root that's why please visit if your uh, name reaction backbone is weaker i have uploaded a lots of video about name reaction please watch them one by one such that your basic understanding improves fine so this this sulfur uh, so within 30 seconds so first of all when you look at this material this is a peroxy sulfuric acid you need to keep it in mind it's a par sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid is h2so4 so means it has peroxide as well as acid and this is a lactone so it will sorry this is a ketone so according to weir willier oxidation it will be converted into lactone second point you need to remember the migratory aptitude of tertiary is higher than greater than secondary so it will migrate and another thing is the retention in configuration occurs so within if this three information you know then within fifth less than 15 second you can solve this question and ultimately the final means you have to tick what is the right answer so in this way you can get the final answer okay so thank you everyone this is the end of this discussion if this lecture is useful please help my channel to grow first of all subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video upload because i am right, right now i am uploading on a regular basis and most importantly please share this video with your friends so that they can also enjoy the benefit and like the video and make some good comment to motivate me so thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video